Hey everyone, Boss Bafak here. What I thought I would do this morning is, it's been a while since I posted a video, so sorry about that. Life has just been crazy, crazy busy. Um, but what I thought I would do this morning is just give you guys an update on what it is I've been buying. It's uh, a month away from Christmas now, actually less. And uh, finishing the Thanksgiving long weekend in the US right now. Um, and so I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a uh, a show on what it is, uh, as I say, just a bit of an update. So, a couple of little pieces I picked up. A um, little South African something over here, which is the uh, Canon Cop. Canon Cop is one of the uh, biggest and best wineries, um, one of the most fabled wineries from the South African wine region. This is their entry level wine, it's a Pinotage, they're famous for Pinotage. Um, Bayer's Truter, who was the original winemaker there, who now has Bayer's Kloof. Um, he uh, started the, the legend. He didn't invent Pinotage, but he certainly created the legend that today is around Pinotage. Did a lot for the for the, the grape and the brand around the grape, and certainly Canon Cop during the, the 90s. So I bought three bottles of this, which is the Cadet. It's a fairly reasonable, probably $30 a bottle, entry-level wine, very, very good. Um, so I bought a bit of that. I haven't actually, I need to reorganize the wine cell in, in by region again. I've been sort of buying things and just putting them in wherever I've had a space. I bought a couple of bottles of this, which is the Fuse uh, Napa Valley. It's really nice, 2013, so a bit of age on that. Probably will wait a little while longer before I open a bottle of that. Um, and then I just, I, I did a nice little purchase recently. I picked up the, I picked up um, two bottles of the um, Dominus um, um, Estate, which is about a hundred point wine. These are all just phenomenal. I mean, if you know, forget about the points, guys, when you're at 97, 98, 99, and 100, um, it really all is just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, so I've got this. I can't remember if I told you guys about the Bryant's. Um, this is a hundred points. This is a hundred points too, actually. I've got some Bryant. I love, I love the wines from Pitch of Pritchard Hill. Obviously, Chapelet is, is the only the only wine on Pritchard Hill that's allowed to use the name Pritchard Hill in the bottle. John Chapelet uh, um, trademarked the name. So two bottles of the Dominus. I then picked up, that's the 2016, two bottles of the Ridge, another one I love, which is the Ridge Montebello. I have a few vintages of the Ridge Montebello. And, and then you see there the 2010, I've got the Baby Bello, which is the just the state, what they call the Cabernet. Um, so two bottles of the... Um, of the 2018, picked up that, that'll be absolutely fabulous. I then picked up three bottles of Spotswood 2017, another fantastic vintage for Napa Valley, a winery that I love, that I've spent a bit of time at. Um, did a phenomenal tasting recently, um, a vertical of about 15 years, and I, the, when I've got that one, one empty here. So this is the 1982 vintage, of Spotswood. It's the very first vin the bottle and vintage of, of that Spotswood ever made. Of course, there's the Spotswood family. Some paraphernalia I picked up when I was on the state recently. Um, that's the very first vintage. I had We had uh, an opening of the 82 all the way through to the 97. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant wines. They were all wonderful. Um, and there's the 2017 ways away before I open that, but just wonderful stuff. And then I finished my, this year I finished my 10 year vertical of Tignanello. So start, I've got the, I started with the 2019 and I just picked up um, the 2018. Sorry, I think I'm messing up the camera here, but um, the 2018, which is, I picked up three bottles of that. Some say it's the best vintage of Tig ever. And so very, very excited to uh, one day in the future pick that up. Not sure if I mentioned to you guys to also pick up some Siepi. Um The other thing I picked up was, again, I'm also building a, a trying to build a 10-year vertical of Ornalaya. Started with the 2010 over here, um, and slowly moved through around this year here, which is the 2013. They started with these Artist Series. Um, we've got a couple of bottles of the Artist Series. And at the top there, I've just picked up the 2017 vintage. So I have two bottles of that. Um, 2017, like 2016, another fantastic uh, uh, vintage for Ornalaya. So, been picking up a bunch of things here and there. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything else I haven't mentioned to you guys. 
uh, in terms of what I've picked up. But but really, I think you've seen all of that. On the cigar front, I've been picking up a couple of things. So one, as I think I've mentioned to you before, guys, I love the Aroma de Cuba. Um, and um, I've got a bunch of those. But I've also really enjoyed the Robusto. Um, and so I've been picking up, a, I picked up a box of the, of the La Roma de Cuba Robustos. Sorry about the label here. They, they weren't, didn't actually, so some mix up with the labels. And so um, they end up putting these labels on, but they are the actual cigar that is round the labels. So there's that. I've also been purchasing, so I, I showed you guys before my Wise Man Maduros. These were in, in the 50 ring gauge. And I just acquired a box of the 6x56 Toros. Haven't had any yet, but here she is. It's a nice big cigar. They're amazing. Um, oh, I'm just smelling the tobacco. Um, the Wise Man Maduro in 56 ring gauge 6x56. Just a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, and I'm very excited about that. So I just picked up a box of 25 of these um, recently, and that's really, really good. I'm looking forward to having one. I may actually just have one tonight with a with a 15 year old McAllen actually. Um, so there's that. And then of course, another cigar that I've, I've, I've discovered um, and been smoking a fair bit of lately is the Davidoff uh, Winston Churchill Late Hour. So this is the, also the Robusto. Um, and these are about, I believe these are the 54 ring gauge. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful stick. Really enjoying these. I bought a box. Um, actually, I bought a box and a half, in fact, um, and I've been slowly been um, smoking these down. So just a wonderful, wonderful cigar. Highly recommend that. Um, the other thing that I've been smoking, which I enjoy, I don't have a box. I couldn't find a box, but I, I bought about seven or eight of them. Um, El Mafuerta La Placencia. Um, and this is in the box press, as I think I mentioned to you guys before. I've had a bunch in the Salomon. Um, and those were really nice. I've got a couple left of those, maybe three or four left of those. And uh, then it's the La Placencia, which I still have here. And those are, they've been wonderful. Really enjoyed, I had one of those last week. So that's kind of what I've been doing from a wine and a, and a uh, cigar uh, aspect. I've got a few more wines coming um, this, uh, over the next couple of weeks. And I'll, I'll do an update for you, on, for you guys on that. I'm just thinking before I, before I go, is there anything else new that's worth talking about? I think I've, I've given you guys all the updates over there. Um, hopefully over the Christmas break, I'm going to have a, some of the uh, dessert wines again, which are always so lovely to have over this time of the year. Uh, there's my Delhaan Edelspatz from South Africa. That's a 2014. I actually had a bottle of 1982 last night at Friends for a birthday, and that was amazing. It was chocolate brown in color. So, you know, as you can see here, um, well, it's hard in this, in this color, but it's a see-through bottle. So this would come out the color of straw. Um, and it was chocolate brown being, you know, 40 years old. And so that was wonderful. So anyhow, everyone, uh, thanks very much for listening. And uh, we'll tune in again soon. Cheers.